Hey everyone, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com and today I want to show you how to make a slip cover for a jackknife sofa in an RV. Welcome back to my channel again today. Remember, if you like my content, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell if you want to be on the notification squad and get a notification when I post a new video. Today I wanted to share with you part two of making a slip cover for a jackknife sofa in an RV. You'll see behind me that I have our finished slip cover in our DIY camper. I've actually finished the whole camper and if you check back on Saturday, I'm going to be sharing a fully completed tour of the camper for you and I seriously can't wait so please make sure to come back again on Saturday if you're interested in seeing how I finished sewing this slip cover for this jackknife sofa keep watching I'll leave a link in the description box below but if you remember part one of this series I measured my fabric I fitted it to the sofa and then I sewed it together Next, I'm going to serge or zigzag all the way around the covers and then I grabbed some sew on Velcro and I'm going to pin it in three places onto the bottom of the slip cover. Then I sewed the fuzzy side of the Velcro onto the wrong side of the slip cover and then I'm putting the other side of the Velcro on top like this and then I fit my slip cover back onto the sofa and then I'm just taking some industrial glue and glue gunning the other side of the velcro and placing it on to my sofa. I don't really care about the fabric of the old sofa so I thought that glue gunning the velcro would work. That was my mom's idea and I actually think it works really well. So I'm doing the same thing. I'm sewing the velcro on to three places on the back, on the inside, on the bottom of the slip cover and then putting the other piece of velcro on, glue gunning it and gluing it right to my sofa. When all of this dries, I'm able to just undo the Velcro and take the slip cover right off. One thing I did was I grabbed some upholstery batting and I put it underneath the slip cover. I wish I had enough for the bottom and the back of the sofa, it would look a lot nicer. But for now I just have enough for the bottom, but I would definitely recommend doing it for both. And this just makes my sofa look a lot more smooth. You don't see that separation of the old cushions underneath the new slip cover. Here's what the sofa looked like before. And here's what it looks now with the new slip cover. I think this really updates the look of the camper and the look of this sofa and it's easy for me to take this off just by taking the velcro off and washing it as needed. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope it was useful to you and that you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you like my videos. And thank you again for watching and I'll see you all again in my next video. Bye.